You know, so often during summer break, we think of the teachers and educators that are getting a well-deserved break. But how about some extra income? One way to do that is with Airbnb. And I am excited to check in with someone from Iowa today, Katie Severe, who is a perfect example of this situation. Good morning, Katie. How are you? Good morning, Natalie. I'm doing well. Thanks. So let's talk a little Airbnb in Iowa. Uh, talk about the process, getting signed up, and how's it been to be able to be a host? Yeah, um, so for us, we bought our dream home in 2019. Um, it came with a mother-in-law suite in the basement. Um, we didn't really need the space at the time, but then the pandemic hit and it became a temporary classroom. Um, and then following that, we just decided, you know, let's try listing it on Airbnb for a couple months. We'll try it out. If we don't like it, not a big deal. Um, but two years later, we don't really have any plans uh, to stop. So hosting um, is really easy. It's really easy to sign up and you know just add your information on there. And um, yeah, it was a great experience for us. Well, I'm assuming two years later, of course, it's still a good experience. I love that you're continuing <laughs> to do it. Uh, I'm curious, I touched on the financial benefits. I, I'm assuming that's something that you've been able to see and then, of course, had a positive impact. Definitely. Um, everyone's situation would be a little bit different, you know, depending on lots of factors. But for us, um, it has allowed me to work uh, part time. Um, so it's supplemented that income, um, which has allowed me to pursue some educational interests and to start my own tutoring business um, and just to spend some more time with my family, which has been a blessing. Oh, absolutely. Well, speaking of you being an educator and getting other opportunities in education like tutoring, I can tell you've got some education props behind you there as well. <laughs> uh, what would you say to the educators out there that are maybe looking for, uh, you know, a few extra dollars or ways to especially supplement that summer income? Yeah, I think it's um, a a great gig for a teacher. Um, you have a little bit more time in the summer, so that's a great time to get started, but it's also something you can do during the school year. Um, if you have, you know, a spare bedroom or a guest space. I think as a teacher, we bring a lot to the table um, in terms of assets uh, as a host. We are detail oriented, we can multitask, um, you know, we are good with communication skills. I always say if we can manage a classroom full of young kids, we can handle a couple people in our house, right? <laughs> <laughs> and then some, I will tell you that, and then yeah. some. Yeah. Well, thank you for being in education and working with the youth. Where can people go for more information? Because I really like this idea and I'm so glad we were able to talk about it today. Yeah, airbnb.com slash host is a great resource. Um, you can calculate how much you would earn. You can connect with other hosts. Um, there's some FAQs on there, too. So that's a really good starting point. Good. Well, you talked about your benefits and educator. I, you know, I have a degree in journalism and I ask questions for a living. So I'm glad you brought up those FAQ areas. <laughs> that's where I would be spending time. Uh, Katie, thank you so much yep. for being with us today. Thanks for having me, Natalie. Take care and enjoy the summer, okay? You too.